I'm Melissa with Melissa 7 Deadly Seeds and I am going to pick a pepper right off the plant and I'm going to eat it. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to be working on removing the seeds from my uh, peppers that I've grown that I've already picked and get those separated. Um, I've got quite a bit, but here is my peppers. As you can see, they're I thinned it out. Um, I moved ones that did not, at the time, they did not have any blossoms or any fruit on them. But I noticed that as I was able to um, separate them from the other ones, they started to uh, produce some blossoms. And over here, let's see, I don't remember which one it is. This one's got peppers. So, I... Over here, because it opened up a lot of airspace, so it was able to um, get a lot of these ones to change colors. So I've got, you know, the Scotch bonnets. Those are almost ready. Um, but I'm gonna eat the the scorpion, the yellow scorpion. I love the yellows. Um, those were my my favorite um, as far as color goes. Cut. Excuse me. Um, but I do prefer the ghosts better. Um, but as far as like flavor of the um, peppers go, it's usually the colors. And right here is the scorpion. Got some scotch bonnets. Funny because this is labeled as a scotch bonnet, but that does not look like a scotch bonnet. But here's my pepper paradise. So I'm gonna pick it right off. I'm not gonna eat it yet, but I'm gonna carry it with me. But here are the peppers, but I've got so many. And then of course here are ones I can almost get ready to pick. These are uh, Murga scorpions. I've got these ones, and I've got some ghostesses right there. I don't know if you can see those, but I've got a bunch. I was able to separate and get more airspace in them. Um, they started producing a little better. Um, over here, this one is my, my Fresno. We got jalapenos, more jalapenos. But uh, right now, I don't want to go over there because I got bit by something the other day. I don't know what part. But anyways, I still have okay, still have this pepper. I was almost thinking about doing this one but i don't know what this one is i'm a, it's a yellow something or other but um it was written in invisible ink but it was almost maybe i should do this one okay i'm, I'm gonna do it so here we go hopefully it's not rotten here and then my house i need a, I need a really pick but i need a water Okay, so here we go. Okay, don't mind my camera. All right, so, papers. My nose is running. Okay, so I am gonna get a, no, maybe I'll, no, I'll just leave it. Okay, so I've got here, we got habaneros, jalapenos. They got nice corking. I call it uh, stretch marks, but it's pretty. These, I don't know why it does that, but my God, it is so pretty. It didn't look like that the other day. It was green with red. No, it's that. Everyone's asking, why are they not green? Because and I make hot sauce with these and green and red make poopy brown. I want poopy brown hot sauce. Okay, here we go. I am going to eat this. I'm scared because I don't know what it is. I, it's a, obviously it's a yellow of something or other. This is a, a scorpion, yellow apocalypse scorpion. I think it's, that's what it was called. And this one, I don't know. Oops, my table's all wonky. I'm scared.
I'm sure I'll just eat the whole damn thing. I'm not sure what it is. It tastes like a ghost. A ghost. I don't know. All right. So, I'm just basically. Yeah, I'm gonna get a chair. Man. Hold on, come with me. I just don't want people thinking I'm spitting it out behind the camera. It was spicy. Making me drool. Whew. Well, it's weird. Only one side is affecting me. Okay. So, these bad boys. I grew all these. We're just going to cut, cut them in half first. Over there. I washed these ones. So this is two days. Two days worth. Okay. So it's sneaking up like a ghost. Oh. I'm not sure what that is actually. Some of these seeds look really sad in here. Dried out. Oh my goodness. I've had quite a few peppers that actually look like they had uh, babies or other peppers in the middle. And some, they're like shaped like birds. This one's only affecting my right side. My right ear, my right nostril. So, um, so this Saturday, I have made the decision because summer's almost over. Need outside. I'm sure rainy weather is very, very close. But I am going to eat the stinky sastrumi fish. I am nervous because it smells. Little things bother me as far as smells go. Like bananas. The thought of bananas actually make me like so I don't know how I'm going to do this, the, the fermented fish, but I've got, um, support of one of my uh, co co-workers and friends. So that one's like the size of a pumpkin, man. That thing was huge, huge, I say, but yeah, so I'll be doing that hopefully this Saturday. I do work this Saturday, so it'll be in the afternoon. Um, but um, I figured I'd hurry up and do it. And then I was trying to think, like, what would be the best way? Because I know it's going to reek. It's going to stink. Garbage came today. So it's like, what am I going to do with the, uh, like, trash? So I'm like, okay, would it be better if I bury it in the backyard? Because fish actually is very beneficial to um, the, the garden and stuff. I don't know if that will be, but, or if I just want to, like, leaving it snow and rancid for my neighbor who likes to complain all the time. I should complain because she's got, like, clover that is overgrown. Like, two feet. But then again, it makes me want to go over there and, like, start digging for, like, four-leaf clovers. But I don't. Okay, so here, excuse me, <laughs> here's the ones I said that have like, looks like a little pepper in there. <coughs> excuse me. So I'm just gonna like cut the habaneros in half. I dry, when I can't make a fresh batch, I, I will dry them. Um, I did make a couple of new batches of hot sauce. I made a peach, a pumpkin peach spice uh, hot sauce. Um, limited edition. I also made a um, Italian plum hot sauce um, because my one of the my providers I work for has two Italian uh, plum trees that are in overabundance, and every year she likes to give me some. And this year I was like, I think I'm gonna try a hot sauce. 
so I made a hot sauce and this one actually would be freaking bomb with duck, pork, and um, lamb. Um, it would be really good with lamb with some fresh mint on it. But yeah, so I got those new ones um, to add to my collection that I need to just slow down and stop on. But I can't stop. I get like these ideas in my head and then it's like I keep going. There's a bee that's like buzzing by my head. But yeah, anyways, um, back to the the bee or the bee or the bug the bug I'll say the bug so the other day I was out in the backyard um, picking the peppers and um, there I don't know what it was um, when I first looked at it it looked like it was it was two marks but then I wasn't quite sure um, it it like when it happened I went to like pull because I pull up on the peppers as I'm picking them and I thought okay because I just watered um, some of them have tomato cages so this had touched the metal and so I thought oh because I got I got it felt like an electrical zap like I got like I got electrocuted so um, literally like from if anybody's ever had like those testings to check for like carpal tunnel and stuff they shove a freaking needle in there and they zap you well you lose like like control and ability in your hands that's what it did but I like literally dropped the peppers and stuff and I was like I was just kind of thrown off because it didn't feel like a sting but it didn't feel like anything I felt before it just felt like I got like zapped and so I was like okay pig started picking up the stuff but then it started aching and every time it moved I was like oh it hurts man it hurts what the heck and I started looking and it was like red and then it was like white and then it had red around it and then I started getting like I was gonna pass out so then I was like okay yeah I gotta so I started like walking to go upstairs and I was like my neighbors taking out his trash and I was like uh hi. he's like how are you doing I was like I'm good I'm like, I have like I gotta go lay down I got stung by something like, can you come check on me later so I'm allergic to the weirdest crap ever um so anyways so then there's that so I literally like plumped on the, the couch when I first walked in and Chester's bugging me. Um, but I just felt so weird. I felt so off. It, it, it literally felt like I got electrocuted. Um, but I'm not sure exactly. So then it was like later, I just felt, I just felt like I had no control over my hands. It doesn't, didn't feel like I had it. I mean, it's much better today. I'll, I'll try to like see if I can post um, photos or something later. Um, but it hurt it hurt really bad um so I'm not I'm not quite sure but it was it was the weirdest feeling ever and I kind of don't want to know what it was but I do because I'm curious to know why it hurt the way it hurt because it wasn't like be like but then yesterday morning there's two so I know it was it had to have been like a spider or the, whatever it was like repetitively stung me Okay, so I rinsed off the table before I did this, and now the water is dripping through the crack and running down my leg. It does not feel very well, feel very good. So, but anyway, so it is 14 minutes. Um, I had to do some sort of video or something because I was really excited. I finally made the decision. I'm going to do it this weekend. I'm never going to reach a thousand subscribers. So, well, I will eventually. That is my goal, at least a thousand. Um, but um, before I, before the summer is over, I, excuse me, I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm just going to do it this weekend. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And um, so I'm just going to post this. And if anybody before then has any suggestions on something I want to talk or try to talk about or whatever at that time, um, feel free to reach out to me. Again, I'm Melissa from Melissa 7 Deadly Seeds. And I am up to 13 hot sauce flavors. Vote for everybody. So I'm going to say um, that this pepper was. 
the heat level of it was probably about a, a, a ghost pepper. Um, it tasted, it did taste like a, a, a scorpion, but I don't know what that was. Um, one, it was not marked, or it was marked, and it was like washed away. Um, the other is, I'm still learning, I don't know. They, a lot of those peppers look similar to me. And that one was elongated, but it wasn't quite elongated. So, I don't know. But I'm going to say that the flavor of that one was really good. I would definitely use that. I might even, once I get the other ones ripened, I think I might even make a, uh, the pepper wiped all my earlier today. But um, I might, I don't know what I'm, I'm not sure what I'll do. But yeah. Anyways, I forgot what I was even talking about, like usual, and no, I did not take my medicine today. That's probably why I'm all over the place. But um, thanks again for watching. I have 465, 465 followers, I think, or subscribers last I checked. So thank you to everybody, and I love that everybody like makes comments, and it's great to hear that uh, everybody's little stories and stuff. I did not know that I could tolerate is he okay there's a bug and it's a yellow jacket I thought yellow jackets are like me they like mate apparently this one is checking on my peppers okay well I'm trying to like remain calm because I will panic okay he wants to say hello <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Anyways, okay, so he, he flew off. So I'm going to say goodnight. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for Saturday's uh, Sustromi.